Hello! I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. Welcome to the Pole Star Expedition in No Man's Sky. I started this expedition yesterday in a video, and multiplayer is now on. Um, I heard that there is an objective where you have to have, when you have to visit another player's uh, freighter in order to, um, you know, do. Uh, in or yeah, <laughs> in order to do that objective. So multiplayer is on now. So if I get a chance, I will visit another player's freighter. In fact. It looks like is that yeah. It looks like there's two freighter icons outside. So I'm gonna check and see if I can see that. Oh, hit, oh, that's oh yeah. It says freighter. Is it a player's freighter? I'm not sure. I, th I think it might just be a. I don't know. It looks like a. It doesn't look like a. NPC freighter because there's no other stuff floating around it. So maybe this is a player's freighter. I'm gonna land on it just in case. Try to figure out if this is a player's freighter. There are other players in the system. I just saw a icon of one moving around. Let me see. Let's look at the objectives. It's called hospitality. There it is. Oh, <coughs> it's an <coughs> excuse me. It's an optional milestone, so I don't have to do it to complete the. Um. Okay, good. I'm glad they made it optional because not everyone has access to multiplayer on PlayStation. If you don't, if you don't, um. Words, words. What was I going to say? Uh, if you oh, if you don't have PlayStation Plus, you can't do multiplayer. Yeah, I think this is a player's freighter. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this is just a. I saw an NPC walking around in it. I think that only happens in player bases. So, but I haven't gotten, haven't completed the thing yet. Oh well. This looks like it could be a, a player's built base, but then again, freighters do seem to have procedural interiors now. So it could just be what was procedurally made, although it's pretty cool for all that. I don't know. Oh, maybe I need to talk to this commander person. Offer to buy. Okay, it must not be a player's base then. A freighter. Because I have the option to buy their freighter. So, that was a player there. So, oh well. I guess this isn't a, freighter, a f player's freighter. But oh well. Anyway, let's go. And we'll just continue doing the other expedition stuff. But yeah, the reward is 5 million units, so that's kind of cool. But thankfully it's an optional thing. So anyway, I need to construct a storage room. So let's go back to my freighter, freighter and do that. Hello, Pertinent. I think you have to join their party. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you probably have to actually be in a multiplayer group for it to count. But anyway, let's go to my freighter and do the next objective. I My friend Boomstick Joe contacted me about that objective, so if he shows up and is able to play or anything, I will try doing it with him. Um, or if anyone else shows up that wants to do multiplayer with me, we can try doing it. But uh, it's, since it's an optional milestone, I'm not going to worry about it too much. If I get a chance to complete it, great, but if not... It's not a big deal, as long as I can complete the, uh, oh, okay, so apparently I have a 
cool. I've got to upgrade for my freighter's hyperdrive. That's cool. I should fix the matter beam at some point. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't move it until I fix it. But anyway... Put the tritium in my starship. Anyway. Um... Yeah, I need to build a storage room. Oh, I can't check. Need, need to check what the ingredients are. All right, so let's build it outside. Oh darn, I don't have sodium. Ah, oh, that's such a basic thing, but I don't have any, so. Yeah, I'll just fly down to a planet and get sodium. Hi, Akira Dragonborn. Did he use his first warp hypercore? I think you mean hype warper core. <laughs> um, uh, yes, I did. Uh, in my video when I started this expedition, I used the hype warper core to recharge my freighter. This is a nice tropical planet. It's got alien trees and stuff. I just need sodium. Here we go. We'll collect a bunch because it's a pretty basic, useful element. Hopefully I can find a big patch of them instead of single flowers. There's a couple. Might as well select, select, collect oxygen too. Now I need that. Hmm, don't see. I'm just going to collect all of the basic element stuff while I do this, because I know I need it. This is a new save. I wish Deuterium Rich actually gave Deuterium, but it doesn't. Stupid Sentinel, go away. I don't have very good range on my scanner. Oof, hope you can find storm crystals easily. It doesn't matter because I mean you can use normal warp cells to power your freighter. Pretty sure I have the recipe for yeah, you have a recipe for warp cell, and you have a recipe, well, I mean, that's what you need storm crystals for, but you can just make normal warp cells for your freighter, unless I 
Unless they change the rules that only hype warper cores work in the freighters now. That would kind of suck. Oh, I have a storm crystal. I think I got a storm crystal as a reward. So I could make another hype warper core if I want. Alright, I think that does it. I mean, I should have enough sodium for that building at least. Blah, blah, blah. Corvax. There's a bunch of settlements near here that players have claimed. Nice thing about shuttles is they have decreased launch cost, I believe. Ugh, that's so far away. I'm gonna just call my freighter. Yeah, there's definitely player freighters over there. But it probably doesn't count. Like someone said, recipe requirement for a tech or room construction, you'll get it during the expedition. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to put it along here, actually. What? Where's the door? Oh, no. I don't think... I don't think I'll be able to access that. Oh, uh, yeah. It looks like it'll be closed off, so I'm going to have to put it inside. Oh, well. There we go. We'll put it here. Yay, install the storage room. We can get the rewards from that. Nanites movement system upgrade and pulse engine upgrade. Nice. What? Hey. That's... Oh, here we go. <laughs> Wait, what? It's not letting me complete it. Oh, is there an additional... Oh, this... oh pff, I was looking at the wrong one. Oh, no, okay, the reward is Interstellar Scanner Plans and Salvaged Frigate Module. Nice. More scale, scavage, sca, sca, salvaged <laughs> frigate modules. Uh, I need... It's probably going to have me to build a scanner room. So I'm going to need another wiring loom and magnetized ferrite. I'm guessing the next thing is to, yeah, install the interstellar scanner. So, where is that? What? Where's the scanner room? What? It just gave me the scanner. Where is it? What? It gave me the interstellar scanner plans. Why is it not? What? It's not in here. What the heck? Oh no, did I get a bug? This is bad. 
Have to add the door. Tech not room? What? Oh, oh, okay. It's a freighter tech. Okay, gotcha. All right. Um, cool. Yeah, so we're going to need... We're going to need to, um, yeah, get magnetized ferrite and a wiring loom, which is the more difficult part. Wiring looms are pretty expensive. I think they're like over 100k, which it's going to be a little hard to get that much money unless I do the 5 million units um, visiting another person's freighter thing. Thank you, Akira Dragonborn, for helping me with that. Alright, so... Yeah. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make money. Let's first... Go... Back to the space station. <laughs> Goddess of Cringe. <laughs> Goddess of Cringe is Starship. That's an awesome name. <laughs> the Goddess of Cringe. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, let's let's go see and go confirm how much it costs to get a wiring loom. Wish I could just destroy another piece of tech and get a wiring loom. But oh well. It is... 50,000. That's not too bad. We'll figure out... Let's see. Do I have much that I could sell? I could sell the storm crystal. Oh yeah. I'm going to sell the storm crystal. I know I need it to make hype warper cores but I kind of need money more right now, so we'll do that. Now I can buy... <gasps> they have magnetic resonators! I need that for repairing the matter beam. It'd be so stupid if I spent too much and I couldn't buy the wiring limb. No, we're good. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I want to repair the matter beam because it's so useful. Oop. Ah. Oh, I need three more mm, wiring looms. I don't have enough money for that. Never mind. We'll have to wait and do that later. All right. So now we just need magnetized ferrite. Actually, can I buy ferrite dust? Yeah, not much. But it'll help. Let's see if they got any more over here. What does this interstellar scanner that I got do? An upgrade to the freighter's galactic scale sensors. This device allows the user to access detailed economic and... Oh, okay, so it's basically the economy and conflict scanner for the freighter. That's cool. That is a cool new technology. I wonder how you get that. I don't think I have it on my main save. Hopefully it's a... Uh, Ooh, they've added some new uh, particle effects in the freighter core, uh, space station control core thing. I like that. Um, yeah, I wonder how you get this technology. Probably buy it... Uh, I don't know. Maybe, I didn't see it in the tech upgrade section. Um... What am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm buying uh, ferrite dust. Oh nice, they got a bunch. All right, now we will. Let's just go to my freighter because my freighter has a uh, large refiner in it. They had me build one. I don't know if I'll have enough. I'll probably have enough to make seventy magnetized ferrite.
pretty awesome that multiple player freighters can be called into the same star system now. I'm glad they made that change. So this quote-unquote summer update was not very big. I mean, this is a summer update, but it's obviously not the summer update because, I mean, we're used to the summer update being really huge. I'm guessing the October update when Nintendo Switch support is added. What the heck? Oh no, it's bugged. Oh no, my large refiner is bugged. I'm gonna try deleting it and rebuilding it and maybe it'll fix it. Delete that, build it again. Okay, good. That's a weird bug. I think I heard something about that in the patch notes. Ooh, I can't, I can't, convert all um, I'm trying to think let's do 140 for now because I need to make 70 but that's probably not enough okay good it's a one to one with pure fair I, I, I don't know if it's a one to two or two to one with magnetized ferrite though Okay, good, it is. So there we go. We got all the magnetized ferrite we needed. All right. Now we can finish the scanner majigger. Yay, we did that. Awesome. Install the interstellar scanner. So now I'll be able to tell when I'm warping um, what... Ooh, I get nanites. Um, you know, the conflict and economic level of the star systems. Hello, oh, Pertinent says, I'm in the same star system as you, but getting a different list of players. NMS multiplayer is weird. Uh, I don't know if you're able to jump into my game, but yeah. No Man's Sky... Oh, hold on. I've got a work message I need to check. Okay, we're good. Um, okay, so I get nanites and movement system and other thing. Pulse engine upgrade. Very cool. All right, movement is very useful. Have to put that here, I guess. Uh, I went and got that. I'm gonna put this magnetic resonator in my freighter. I can't use it yet. 
I'm gonna move my jetpack. Next to that. And this. Put that here and move my pulse engine here. What the? Oops. Ah. Ah. There we go. Okay. Um, I think I'll. these in here too. Cool. It's pretty weird not having a hyperdrive in my ship, but I like it. I like that they're forcing us excuse me, to use our freighter. Alright, so I got that. Now we need to go to the first rendezvous point. Hooray! Nice. We can get all the way there. I love that we can see our freighter in the warp animation now. I think that was added in this update, though I have a funny recollection that maybe it was already added, but I don't know. Alright, so... What... The heck? Oh, pfft. I thought that was my freighter base. I'm stupid. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we need to go to the rendezvous point now. Wonder what kind of building. Is it going to be a portal again? I don't like it when it's a portal. Last few expeditions seems like rendezvous point was a portal. I like it better when it's a giant building. Those are cool. Looks like it's on a nice lush planet. Yep, with purple trees and grass, maybe. Oh cool, it's a, uh, I think it's the crashed freighter. Oh, that makes sense. This exhibition is about freighters, so it makes sense that it would, rendezvous point would be a crashed freighter. Yay! Yep, this is the rendezvous point. Let's get the reward. Oh, magnetic resonator. <laughs> oh, well, I already bought them, so I won't have to craft them. Uh, more nanites, sal another salvage frigate, and inventory slot. Nice. Cool. Still need to get more... Um... Oh yeah, it, it put the salvage frigate module in here. I'm gonna, well actually, let's look, what is the next, whoa, it immediately goes to rendezvous 2 for the second thing, that's interesting, yep, into the black, so I need to go read the ship's log in my freighter next, but first I think I'm gonna dig up all this wreckage just for the heck of it, it might help me make money so I can get the matter beam fixed, yep, so life goes on thing. This is always the first crashed freighter thingy. 
All right, I'm gonna dig up all the pods. Oh no. I don't have I need I need to install the bolt caster or something. In case I need to fight. I'm glad I kept most of my ferrite dust, because that's what I need for this. Nice. Starship fuel. I'm going to, let's see, let's go ahead and see if I can install the bolt caster. Oh, uh, what? Where's all my chromatic metal? I made a whole bunch of it. Did I use it all up? Seriously? Or is it all in my freighter? Oh my gosh, it's all in my freighter. I have to get at that in a little bit. Nice. What the? Oh no! Ah! Uh, somebody's base is here. I can't edit the terrain because somebody built a base. Stupid. I wonder if I can use turn off multiplayer to enable it. I hate when multiplayer interferes with your playing. Nope, still can't edit the train. Great. That's annoying. There's another door? I never noticed there were two doors to this room. Where is... There's usually one... Yeah, right there. Going to need to get some thermal protection or... What the? Somebody else edited this also. This must be the part that's in somebody's base. At least they dug it up for me. So that I could access it. Let's see, is there any more? Yeah, there's one more cargo pod. I've got a bunch of nanites now, so next time I go to a space station, I'm going to buy hazard protection for as much things as I can. Yeah, somebody dug this up too. That's kind of good, but also annoying that I can't dig it up myself. I mean, can't edit the terrain. So I wonder if they dug up the last one for me. I just didn't notice. There may be a different hole that I can go through. Oh, hey, can you go from... Oh, you can go from the top. I never noticed that. Ah, uh, but I still can't edit the terrain. Oh, it's so annoying. I can get so close to it, but I can't access it. Because I can't edit the terrain. Ah! That's so annoying. Oh, well. It's just one. Pretty sure we got all the others. Yeah. Okay, so. Next. Why am I still on this phase? Pretty sure I got all the rewards there. Oh yeah, I need to do the final reward. So I get posters. Yeah, posters. Cool. Maybe I'll try putting the posters in my freighter base. That'd be cool. All right, back to my ship freighter. 
to uh, do stuff. Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll build I'll build the um Let's put these salvaged frigate modules in my freighter. This in my starship. I need to get out anything out of here that I need. I need chromatic metal. And carbon. Oh my goodness. That's pretty important stuff. And the save point would be useful. Alright, risk and st Oh no, launch fuel. It goes in my starship. Warp cell can stay because we aren't warping with my ship. Oh, you're right. So anything about warping should be in my freighter because that's, that's what that's going to be needed for. Alright, so the next thing. Oh, yeah, is to read the log at the commander. But first, I'm going to go put some posters up just for fun. Where can I put posters up? I don't know. I don't know if posters will go on this type of wall. Let's see. Pilgrim poster. Oh, they will. I kind of like... I'm going to put them on the windows. Maybe... That's pretty cool. Then pole star poster. Cool. And last heavy shipping poster. Cool. Those are the new posters that we get from the rewards. Nice. All right, now I need to read the new log. Freighter's master stands at ease, awaiting instructions. Access ship's log. No new records to report? What? What the heck? Read the cruise log. Where do you go for that? Is it not here? Where is the cruise log accessed? Log inaccessible. Cruise has not yet reached destination. Use the expedition path the galaxy map to navigate to the system Nawaguch. Weird. Is that the next rendezvous point? How will I know where to find Nawaguch? Wait. I wonder... If it's in my discoveries. If Hello Games discovered it. Uh, no. I don't see Nawagutch. Weird. Okay, hopefully Nawagutch is the next rendezvous point. Let's find out. Oh, yep, it is. Okay, so we just have to. Oh, it's out of. It's out of jump range, really. Why isn't the, why isn't the line. A dotted line. That's strange. Oh well. Yeah. So Nawagutch is the next rendezvous point. Then we'll be able to read the log. Sorry, I haven't. Oop, I haven't been reading chat because I clicked off of it. Uh, uh hey Joe. My meeting was canceled. I'll join in about five minutes. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you can jump into my game, Joe. Oh, no. I turned off multiplayer. I got to turn it back on. Uh... Actually, I'm going to make it friends only. 
Yeah, Joe, if you can join my game, I think we have to be in party together for it to work, and then we can, excuse me, both visit each other's freighters. Uh, okay, yeah, so now, hopefully, it says login accessible. Cruise has not yet reached destination. Use the expedition path. I'm in the I'm in the log system. I'm in Nawaguch. Hmm. I guess I gotta go to the rendezvous point. Okay, Boomstick Joe's here. So, um, Joe, I'll wait for you to land on my freighter, and then we'll get you, and then. I think you said I have to, um, uh, like, un uncall my freighter and then you call your freighter or something. So, let me, let me check that message again from him. Okay, yeah, so Joe needs to go to the buildable section of my... Wait, where did Joe go? I think he's above me. Maybe? Did you get out, Joe? I didn't see. I was looking at something else. I only see your ship, Joe. Did you get out of it? There you are. You got out of your ship, I guess. So I gotta wait for Joe to go to the buildable section of my base. Oh, there you are. And my friend Jacob Klimek also just joined my group, so I'll wait for him to... Can you hear me, Jacob? Um, Wait for him to also go into my base if he's going to. I don't know. Oh, hi, Jacob. Yeah, uh, Jacob, if... are, you in... are you on the expedition? Yeah. Yeah, when you when you start the expedition. Oh, are you not in this star system? Okay. Where, Joe? Are you going to go into the buildable section? Oh, yep. There, Joe. So you got to go into the buildable section, and then I've got to uncall my freighter. Where are you going? You didn't go into the buildable section. I didn't see you go into it. Okay, I guess he did, so we'll go out now and I'll despawn my freighter. I'll wait till you come out of it, Joe. I don't want to dismiss my freighter while you're inside of it. Wait. Okay, he, he is outside of it. Okay, good. So now... Okay, I dismissed my freighter, so if you could call your freighter, Joe... In the meantime, I'm going to turn off my voice chat because the echo of my voice is driving me crazy. How do I turn off voice chat? There we go. Okay, voice chat's disabled. <laughs> You'll, we'll have to communicate. Okay, good. He called his freighter. We'll have to communicate through... Um through uh, <laughs> YouTube chat because voice chat was driving me crazy. Yay! 
I already completed it. I didn't have to go to the buildable section, I guess. But I want to go to Joe's freighter anyway. Of course, this is his expedition freighter, so it's not going to be all decked out like his bases usually are. Yep, he's just got the same basic layout that mine has with the required things built into it. Cool. Nice. Yep, it's exactly like mine, except, yeah, the changes that he's made to it. Cool, so we got that. Thank you, Joe. So now that I have those units, I can, I can fix my matter beam. So I'm gonna go get the, I'm gonna go get three more, <coughs> um, uh, wiring, or no, five. I used up two. I need five wiring looms to fix the matter beam <clears throat> on my freighter. Um, you're one system short. Nagach is rendezvous. Yeah, it counts as soon as you land in the player's freighter. It triggers. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. Let's go get. It seems like I already have the matter beam. Oh, it must be one of those bugs where, you know, it's already in effect even though it's broken. But I still want to fix it so I can move the matter beam out of my inventory into the technology section, so. Whatever. Now, I really should buy several more. Let's buy a million worth of wiring looms. Because you always need more wiring looms. Okay. Oops. Here we go. Cool. And I can move the matter beam into there. Yay. Alright. Now. Let's see what's next. I need to go to... Yeah, I guess I need to go to the rendezvous point. Which I'm pretty sure I'm in Nogich. What? What? Yeah. What? I thought for sure I was in... It's saying I'm... Oh, yeah, I didn't... Oh, I forgot. I forgot... I didn't warp yet. I didn't warp to Nogich yet. <laughs> I just warped. Uh, anyway, hopefully I can call my freighter now. I don't know if Joe's... Yeah. Hopefully I can call my freighter. Okay, good. Yeah, so multiple player freighters can be up. We don't have to dismiss ours. So if Joe's is out there and also mine. That's pretty awesome. I love that they made it so multiple player freighters can be up now. Yeah, and so I need to finish warping to Nogich. Yeah. All right, let's warp. Now we're going to the right place. All right, so, yeah, now the log is accessible, yay. Date stamp, 
arrived in the Nogget system. So we've been here before. The computer tells us it has been over a decade since we left. Perhaps it is right. The tiredness is all-consuming, and we struggle to keep the memories fresh. There is at least rhythm to life again with the captain awake, but where are we going? Once more into the black, once more to disappointment. I'm wondering if this is this log from the past or is this log from the present? Because it kind of sounds like he's recording what's happening right now. Unless we're just repeating what we've done in the past, which is definitely a theme in No Man's Sky. Like every iteration, we do the same things that we did in past lives and stuff. Um, but whatever. Anyway, let's get the reward. Orbitable, orbital exocraft materializer plans. <laughs> materializer. I love that. Um, wiring loom and yellow paint. Nice. Oh, see? Ah, oh, I just bought a bunch of wiring looms. <laughs> I should have known it was going to do that. Nice. Is it going to have me build the materializer yep I'm gonna need what was it again I can get it on my way if I know what all I need to get Ionized cobalt, so I could buy a bunch of cobalt and turn it, and we're going to need three more warp cells, which... Oh, come on. What am I missing? Condensed carbon. I've got enough carbon. I can make it. Please don't let this thing be bugged again. Good. And one more antimatter. Oh. Oh, I only need one more warp cell. Whoops. Oh, well, whatever. I mean... Yeah, I already had enough to make two warp cells, so I didn't need to do this, but whatever. Yeah, I, I already had a warp cell. I only need to make two anyway. But oh well. Okay, so... Well, we just need cobalt. I'm gonna go get that. And then... We'll go to... The rendezvous point. They gave us a whole two months to do this expedition. So far, this expedition has seemed really easy. There may be harder ones, but I definitely won't need two months to complete it. But they're keeping it available for two months so that people can do it. And after that two months, we'll be close to the October launch of No Man's Sky on the Switch. And whatever update we'll get then. Hopefully it'll be a sizable update as well. I mean, when they launched on Xbox, we got the biggest update ever, which was the No Man's Sky Next update. I doubt it's going to be a, as big as that update, but... Um, probably shouldn't get my hopes up, but it would be nice if we got a really big update when the Switch launch happened as well. Alright. I need Cobalt. Yeah, there we go. That'll be plenty. Oh yeah, and I really need hazard protection. Let's go get that. What all we got here? They've got S-rank thermal. 
and radiation. I'll get each of the S rank that they have. So I've got heat. Heat. Radiation. Underwater. Let's see if they have... Oh, cool. I've, I've got an Atlas Path set. I only need Atlas Path V3, though. Don't know why they would give me all three of them. Um, let's see if they have, like, A rank. I think they had A rank Toxic. And... Oh, no. No good... They've got B rank cold. I'll get that. Yeah, I'll have to get better cold protection later. Cool. We've got some kind of protection for every element now. Ooh, that is a nice little... That's <laughs> such a little bitty fighter, but it's so cute. I like it. Oh, well, I'll be... I'm going to be right back. Ooh, I really like the design of that yellow pirate ship. Ooh, that is sleek. Very cool. But anyway, I will be right back. Okay, now to the rendezvous point. Yeah, unsafe trajectory. The um, game invite. Uh, no, someone I don't know. I thought I put it in to friend only. Maybe I switched it back again. Yeah, I did. I don't know if that person is a, on my friends list or not. I don't remember that name. I didn't know people could invite you. I've never had someone invite me before, but yeah, that would mess up my expedition, so I'm not going to do that. Ooh, 
object of interest, but it's probably not anything too interesting. Oh no, this is the ocean. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get to land and land. Hope it's not a it's not a sunken freighter, is it? Whoa. I don't know if I could land there. I probably can. Land here. Yeah, it looks like it's a sunken freighter. I see a sunken freighter over there. That's funny. I don't think they've ever done a a sunken thing as the rendezvous point before. Yeah, they're doing all kinds of freighter stuff. Freighters are the theme for this expedition. Lucky that I just installed a water protection. Someone's got their vehicle, but I didn't build that vehicle materializer yet, so I can't use it yet. No, no in-game friends list? I don't think so. Maybe they are. I mean, I have quite a few friends. I may have forgotten that name. Let's see. Am I going the right way still? I guess so. I see. Yeah, I see it. What's that red glowing section? Is that the inside of the freighter? I didn't know it glowed. I've got a rainbow jetpack trail. Rainbow farts. <laughs> yeah, that must be the uh, crashed out part of the freighter over there. It's glowing. I want to check it out. It looks cool. Yay, got the rendezvous point. I'm not... I'm not gonna not gonna dig up all the stuff in this underwater freighter. I never noticed that oh yeah, actually I remember there was kind of a red glow. These lights are still functional apparently. The crashed part of the freighter. Really wish they would make crash freighters on planets into freighter dungeons. That would be really cool. But oh well. Anyway, let's see what I got for reward. Teleport chamber. Oh yeah, yeah, the regular teleport portal. Nanites, salvage frigate module, and inventory slot. Nice. Whoa! I just fell. That's a weird bug. Anyway, that's weird. I wonder why my cold protection is powered down. Oh, it's oh, I guess it's cold down here. I didn't notice that. Where's my ship? Yeah, there's my ship. There's another red glowing part of the ship. Interesting. Wonder why they have red lights in the broken parts of the ship. Everything is failing. This must be a cold planet. I didn't notice that. And it seems to mark the really broken parts of the ship with red lights. That's funny. Oh well. Anyway, back to my ship.
I'm really glad they improved how the jetpack works underwater. They did that back in the Abyss update. It used to be so annoying. Using your jetpack underwater made you go straight up, so you'd end up jetpacking above the water in order to travel through water. But now they've got it fixed so that using your jetpack makes you go forward instead of up. I definitely like that. Mm. Oh, I don't have any... Should probably make some batteries. But I need to remember to... We'll just make... Hopefully that's enough cobalt. I'm just gonna make one for now. Recharge my cold protection. That's somebody else's ship. Everybody got a shuttle for this expedition. All right. Yeah, let's go back to my freighter. I need to build the... vehicle materializer. Oh, come on. Let me call my freighter. There we go. Be cool if you could see your freighter base from outside. But I don't think it works like that. Since we can build outside of our freighter now, it would make sense if you could see it, but the way it works is a little different. It doesn't load in your freighter base, excuse me, until you land, I think. Excuse me. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to build this thing. Orbiter, orbital materializer radar. I guess I'll build it off of the. Yeah, I'll build it this way. But yeah, oh yeah, we need to make the ionized cobalt. I only need 50. I think it's a hundred cobalt. Yeah. Ionized cobalt is a lot less useful now since they got rid of the deluxe sized battery. Now we just use the normal sized battery, which only use normal cobalt. Oop. What? Ah, uh, I hate this. It's hard to target the interaction point. What the heck? It appeared for a second. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. That's annoying. Okay. What is this room? I've seen this room, but I don't know what it's called. I don't know if I have the thing for it. Yay. All right, we got the ship thingy. So now I got the Nautilon Chamber plans, the Romer Geo Bay plans, 
and the Exocraft Specialist's Room plans. Cool. Wonder why it gave me Exocraft Specialist. Are they going to have me do the Exocraft Specialist quests? That would be weird. Right now it wants me to... Oh, I need to discover plants. I can't believe I haven't scanned any plants yet. I need to start scanning stuff. But yeah, I need to deploy a submarine. Hopefully I'll have the parts for that. I don't remember what they are. Would it would have made more sense to have me build the Nautilon before I went to the underground rendezvous point, but whatever. Just need to find some land and then build the submarine. This isn't the territory of someone's base. I was flying towards a base. I hope that's not too close. Let's see, I probably don't have the ingredients for the Nautilon yet. Yeah, I need... Let's see if I can make the metal plates. Five metal plates. Okay, we've got that. Then I need... Four crystal sulfide and a hundred salt. And I need to start scanning plants. And rocks to figure out what has salt in it. Yep, that has salt. Need a hundred salt. Salt. Now we need the crystal sulfides. Oh, there's crabs in this ocean. Crystal sulfide. Wait. I'm trying to remember. How is the way... Here we go. Yeah, crystal sulfide. One more before it explodes. Ow. One more. There's some kind of teeny tiny... Maybe it's these things I'm trying to scan. I 
seems so weird. I don't have the scan dots in the regular place. There we go, we scanned one of the creatures. Gotcha, okay. Now it's safe for me to make a bunch of batteries. Where is some more crystal sulfide? There we go. Crazy Ghost Hunter says, do you like how the game starts out now or would you rather start off in a strange planet? <laughs> well, I really like starting out in a freighter just because it's new. Um, I mean, we've always started on a planet for years. Now we finally get to start the game in a different way. Ouch. All right, let's build this thing. It's kind of pointless building this since I built the the materializer in the freighter. Um, I built it. Why isn't it? Why isn't it saying I did it? Oh, I did. It just didn't tell me yet. So got the osmotic generator and all that other stuff. And also some upgrades for it. Ooh, nice. I got a expensive item. Cool. All right. Now let's get back to my ship. Unless there's something else I need to do underwater. No, I just need a teleport chamber... Scan more plants, which I'll go to a different planet to do that, because this planet <laughs> isn't very good for that. A double cultivation chamber. Cool. Okay, so, um, where'd my ship go? There it is. Yeah, like I said, it would have made more sense to have me build this before I went to the freighter. Then I would have had a reason to be in the submarine in order to get, you know, uh, the, the rendezvous point. But, oh well, whatever. <laughs> As it is, there's no reason for me to get in that thing. Not yet, anyway, unless they have me go underwater some more later. I love how asteroid fields look now. They're so cool. Akira Dragonborn says, Deconstruct, deconstruct the platform after. You can always call the sub later when freighter is in the system. I, I don't... Do you get the root materials back when you delete them in the field? I thought you only got them back if they're on your base. Unless, I don't know, it's been a long time since they made that rule. They may have changed it back again. Um, okay, teleport chamber. I need three antimatter. I had one. What happened? Did I use? Oh, I think. Oh, well. Could have sworn I had another antimatter. Oh well. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh no. Please don't me please don't tell me I'm out of normal carbon. I am. Ah, oh, annoying. Oh well, I need to scan plants anyway, so I'm gonna go to another planet, get carbon, 
and scan plants and stuff. All right. Let's find a type of planet that will have a lot of plants on it. Got hot planet, that's a possibility. Cactus. What's this? Ah. Fungal. Okay, we'll go there. Fungal planets are good for finding lots of plants, usually. <laughs> Dread Captain Ook Q. It's a bounty. Is this a barren? Oh, this is a barren mushroom planet. Ah. Dang it. There's almost no plants at all. Ah. Okay, I'll go to one of the other planets. Figures. Can never find the thing you need. Okay, that's the cold planet. Don't tell me all the planets in the star system are barren. That would be annoying. Alright, let's try the hot planet. What was the other thing I needed? Oh, carbon. Yeah. these trace amounts I don't take up too much space well here we go ah. please don't be another barren planet oh my gosh okay good here's a little bit of plants not a lot, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Oh, pff. I picked up a landing pad and went through the ground to get to it. That's just city. Silly. Alright, we got some plants to scan. And get carbon from. Gonna go for the bigger plants. Ooh, we got underground plants. I'm going to go into this cave for a bit since there's a storm. not be much else in here though uh, there's usually two versions of the glowing flower 
I don't see any more. See, I need big trees. Here we go. Yay, storm ended. Oh, we got landfish. Nice. Gotcha. I'll still start getting carbon. Yeah, I'll probably go to the cactus planet next because there's not a whole lot of plants on this planet. I wish these creatures counted as plants. They look like plants. Oh, cool. Another version of the fire tree. That's a really weird land fish. Oh darn, I think I lost it. Oh no, now my scanner noise is stuck in a loop. Okay, now it stopped. Wow, that actually looks like fish. It looks like a school of fish. Or maybe some kind of weird... I want to look at that. Discovery. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they literally look like fish. They're fish or crustacean things spinning and burrowing through the ground. So weird. There's another species of hopping plant. Alright, I don't think there's much other... Actually, I can scan the versions of sodium and such flowers. There's the deuterium flower that never gives deuterium. The jetpack boost flower. There are oxygen flower. I don't see it. There's another. Oh, there's the googly eyeball creature. It's got googly eyes. You go to a planet, and it's got bears, and then you go to another planet, and it's got bears, but on this planet, they've got googly eyes. <laughs> That's an old parody, No Man's Sky parody video. That was funny. This guy doing a parody of Sean Murray. Right back when No Man's Sky first launched, and everybody was do making fun of No Man's Sky. There are some pretty good comedy videos. Um, kind of helped me lighten the mood in the Dark Ages when everyone was hating on No Man's Sky. Even though it was making fun of No Man's Sky, it still kind of gave me something somewhat entertaining despite all the negativity.
Alright. Where'd my plant, uh, ship go? I think that's enough. I think that's about all the plants I can get here. Oh yeah, it's telling me to summon my ship. I guess I could just do that. Except I can't. Oh, there we go. Alright, so... I'm gonna go to the cactus planet. I don't... I didn't really mine much carbon. Probably should get more. I'll go to the cactus planet. Scan plants there, and... Excuse me. Stuff. Whoa, is that the cold planet? Probably. It's really cool looking, though. Well, that's the fungal planet, I think. If it would let me see, see it. There we go. Yeah, where's the cactus planet? Nope, that is the... Oh, that is the cactus planet. Cool.
Oh, Mike was on mute. Thank you for telling me. Uh, so annoying when I do that. Anyway, I'm headed to get amino chamber. I don't have the recipe for that, apparently. Whoa. Ooh, lots of cool ships in here. But I'm gonna go talk to Nada and Polo. They always say something different for expeditions. Well, it's always the same thing, just welcome home. Yeah, nothing has changed, everything is the same. Nada does not joke. That's what Nada always says when you do an expedition. Do you remember Nada or I? You know you are always welcome in our little home. Yeah, I don't want to mess with his stuff or it'll put me on missions I don't want to do. Um, yeah, so we need amino chamber blueprint. Where is it? Uh-oh. What? Amino chamber is a new thing. I thought it was a, like a changed version of one of these, but it's not. Uh-oh. How do you get an amino chamber? Oh, no. Here it is. I see it now. Cool. Ah, oh, dang, I need chlorine. I'll have to go back to that water planet. Wait, don't tell me I had an expedition reward. No. Yeah, strange that it didn't give me amino chamber blueprint. My mic is working now, right? Should be. Is this the... No. Need to go back to the... Cold water planet. Yeah, there it is. get chlorine. takes a long time to get to this planet. I was a long way from it, I guess. Checking my socials. Or rather, my 
social medias that have to do with my job. It's kind of my job to do that. Okay, I need to land... somewhere and get chlorine. For the what's cheeky thingy. Amino chamber. Can check for any more plants that I haven't scanned yet. No, these are all scrub grass that isn't scannable. Ooh, I like that foam. Whoa, deep trench. Nice. Oh, here's a plant I haven't scanned. Alright, so... Excuse me. There's gotta be some type of rock that has chlorine in it. Hopefully. There it is. Oh no, I need advanced mining laser. Are you serious? Uh, I could have bought the advanced mining laser when I was on the Nexus. Is there seriously no rock that I can mine that has chlorine? Ah, fooey. I'm going to have to go back up to the Nexus, get the advanced mining laser... And that has chlorine too, but I'm pretty sure that is also advanced mining laser. Okay. Fine. Go back and get the advanced mining laser. If I knew all this ahead of time, I could have done it already. While we're at it, I think I'll grab the mining laser and the hazmat gauntlets, just because I'll probably need them eventually. Pretty basic stuff. Salt refines into chlorine. Oh yeah, that's true, but oh well. I'm gonna go get the advanced mining laser. Need to have it anyway. Just because it's useful. Helps that they've been giving me tons of nanites for rewards. Why is there always a water sound effect in the Nexus now? It always sounds like you're underwater here. Um, oh, multi-tool. There we go. Anything better I might need? Else I might need? Eh. Not really. Gonna get the. Oh, I have the hazmat gauntlets. Are you serious? I've had the recipe for that all along. Or maybe I got it as a reward. Oh, I need sodium nitrate. Nitrite, I think it's called. And what do I need for the advanced mining laser?
What am I doing? Okay. Carbon nanotubes and hermetic seal. Oh, are you serious? I don't have enough carbon. Hermetic seal. Okay, we'll go get some more carbon. I don't know if I'll be able to get it in the ocean. Ah, dang it. Ugh. I'm not going to another planet to get carbon. This is annoying. I could turn some of my... Ah, so annoying. Pretty sure there's no carbon on that planet. There's not enough plant life. I'm in, uh... I'll just... What's this? Anyway... Uh, I could convert some of the condensed carbon. Wait a second. Okay, good. I do have a refiner at least. Portable refiner. Man, I really wish I could make get some carbon here. This planet is so barren. So annoying. How much carbon do I need? For carbon nanotube? 50. So I can put in 25. Oh, it's just short. Hope this is enough to unrefine it. Okay, good. Well, that turned it all into carbon. Um, I got the advanced mining laser. Whoa, hello. Creature just spawned here. And flying eels. Or flying worms. And what did I need for the hazmat gauntlets? Sodium nitrite. Like I'll have to I'll have to make some of that. Oh, it is trait. Sodium nitrate. Need 20. Alright, what? Oh, yeah. Alright. Done with that. Now we can mine chlorine. Don't remember how much I needed though. Or what I was making it for. Oh yeah, the uh...
something or other chamber. Where is it? Oh, Mino chamber. Here we go. Um, ah, now I need condensed carbon. Ah, they don't have enough carbon. Ah, I'm going insane. Are you serious? Okay, good. I do have ferrite dust. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and warp to another star system after I get all the chlorine I need. We need a star system that has planets with a lot of plants on them. Aye, aye, aye. Ah, oh, great. Stupid ghost jellyfish attacking me. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, we got enough chlorine, I think. No, we don't. How much do we need? Oh, oh, we do. Okay, now we just need the condensed carbon. Okay. Let's get out of here. I'm going to another planet. No, star system. Sick of this one. No carbon ocean plants. Yeah, I knew that. Let's warp out of here. Find a plant, plant it with lots of plants to scan and get carbon. to go to a lush planet oh yay there's a lush moon we'll go there what's this object of interest yeah it's just a trade got any carbon <laughs> probably not nah Anyway, go into this lush moon to scan plants and get carbon. Oh, come on. Great, I'm out of pulse jet fuel. Oh, well.
Ooh, nice lush moon. It better not be barren. I swear if it's a barren lush planet, I'm gonna scream. Oh, it's a it's barren, isn't it? Uh Yep, it's pretty barren. Oh my gosh. Why am I having the worst luck today? Oh my gosh, there's no trees. Are you freaking... What the? This isn't a... Oh. It's got stupid... Stupid... Ooh, uranium. It's got stupid... Uh, exotic planet stuff on it. And it doesn't have... That's gold. I'm gonna mine some uranium just cause... Um... I need it for launch fuel. But man, this is very annoying that I oop, keep getting. Oh, this is all gold. Annoying. Oh, I keep getting. Oh, I forgot to scan hazardous plants. I forgot about that. Keep getting barren planets. I swear, anytime you look for something, it's the hardest thing to find. Like, it's easy to find stuff until you really need it, and then it stops being available. <laughs> there's at least there's a few plants. There's enough carbon for what I need currently, I think. What? Oh my goodness. Starting to lose my cool here. <laughs> Everything's going wrong. Uh. Okay. Uranium can go in there. I'll put the antimatter in there. Really need to stop somewhere and sell some stuff. Got so much junk. Ugh. That's made of carbon, too? What? What was I... I was shooting something else made of carbon, apparently. This planet's going to give me enough of what I need, I guess. Well, not enough plants to scan, but I can get the carbon I need. Oh, wow. What the heck? How did I get so much carbon? Did another player give me carbon? Someone must have gave me carbon. Oh, well. Okay. Alright, should be able to, after I clean out space, oh my goodness, annoying, get rid of this pure ferrite, craft the amino chamber, finally, 
All right, now we'll go back to my freighter and build the teleport chamber finally. I want to scan that weird creature. Cool, I think I just got a reward for scanning creatures. Nice. That's cool. I'm gonna go to the... I'm gonna go to the space station real quick and sell some junk I don't need. Uh, where's the... Ah, oh, darn it. Space station's far away. I need space before I can uh, do that plant thing or uh, whatever mission objective that is. I don't think I need chlorine anymore, hopefully. Alright. Finally, we can make the teleporter thinger majigger. Can you use... No, I'm pretty sure you can't use the, the mini teleporters on your freighter. I wish you could. To, you know teleport around your freighter base. I don't think that's available, though. Alright. Where do I want the teleport chamber? Can't put it there. 
Don't want it there. I'll just keep building. No, uh, I want it convenient spot. Eh, fooey. Can't build it there. Let's build it off of here. There we go. Yay, we did that. So now we get technology room plans, construction specialist, and advanced mining laser. Cool. Oh, I just got advanced mining laser. Oh well. Whatever. Okay, now is when I need to finish scanning plants. Just five more. So, go back down, or go to another planet in this star system. And... Oh yeah, let's get this... One. Supreme Scanning System upgrade? Oh, nice. Might need that. Uh, I have so little room, though. I'm just going to leave it in here for now. Cool. I really need to get more slots on my multi-tool. Oh, well. I'll do it later. Alright, so... Any more planets? Uh, it's not gonna have much plants on it. Oh wait, let's let's just go to this I think hot planet beneath me. Hopefully, it's got some actual plants to scan. The Engine of Life. That's a cool mission name. Makes sense. Plants get energy from sunlight, so they're kind of the engine I would say like ooh yeah yeah this one finally has a lot of plants on it I'd say they're more like the uh, I don't know solar panels <laughs> solar panels of life Running out of oxygen. Oh, cool. Got cute little turtle creatures. And a regular old deer creature. Hi, kitty cat. I'm going to scan you. Discover my kitty cat. Here's Nico. I discovered Nico. Units received. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Oops, sorry. Two more plants. I just need two more plants to scan, please. Here we go. Hi, kitty. I'm a little busy playing. He's staring at me like, why aren't you petting me right now? How dare you? I'm sitting here. You need to be petting me. <laughs> Don't you swish your tail at me, young man. Being annoyed just because I'm not giving you constant attention. I'm busy playing my game, KJ. Shall we, KJ?
Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so... wonder what I'm going to... Whoa, ouch. Uh, I'm going to get up there, and there's going to be some ingredient that I need for the chamber of life. Where'd my ship go? Oh, it's so hard to find your ship when there's so many message modules everywhere. There we go. Excuse me. Ouch. Kitty cat. Meow, Sheila. Meow, Sheila. What a goody. What a goody. Good boy. Well, good boy. Uh, Nico N I K K O, like Nico Bellic from Grand Theft Auto 4. <laughs> My favorite Grand Theft Auto character. Okay, so let's get the reward from this. So, double cultivation chamber, supreme scanning upgrade, and powerful mining beam upgrade. Ah, oh, man. I really need... Oh, I'm short on oxygen! Ah! I'm gonna have to go to the space station and get oxygen. And I'm also gonna... Um... Ex uh, expand my... Uh, multi-tool so that I can put the upgrades that I just got in it. Uh-oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> that was funny. My cat could tell I was going to sneeze. He ran away before I sneezed because <laughs> he knew I was going to make a loud noise that scared him. Let's go this way. Uh, multi tool, yeah. I thought, no, I guess I didn't get any. Good, we're pretty cheap to expand at this point. Here we go. And then... What? Oh yeah, teleportation enabled. Good. Mining beam. And... <coughs> Scanner. And mining. Awesome. <clears throat> okay. And oxygen. Ah. Okay, buy oxygen, yay. And I think <clears throat> I would also like to check if they have 
better toxic and cold protection. Mm, I already have. Nope. I already have A rank toxic and B rank cold, so no. I don't have anything I need here. Alright, let's go install the new thing I need to install. What? Wrong person. Uh, unstoppable onion. I don't. They must be a. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, they're just a rando. They did, they're not. They didn't actually jump into my game. They're just a uh, ambient multiplayer person. Pretty awesome. We can call multiple player freighters now. We could have kind of like a mock freighter battle between players now. Everybody could call their freighters somewhat close together and like pretend, well, you can actually shoot each other if you turn on PvP. You could, I guess, attack each other's freighters and stuff. That would be kind of cool. All right, um... You could like race to see who can destroy like like whoever destroys all of the containers on the other starship uh, freighter first wins and yeah stuff like that double cultivation chamber I'm gonna put it here why not Yay, the air we breathe. Install double cultivation room. Huh? What What about this is double? Oh, okay, I see it now. There's four spots that you can plant plants. Cool. I can also get carbon. Yay. Alright, let's get this reward. Biological room. What's a biological room? Probably just another plant growing thing. Collection of plantable seeds? What are seeds? Maybe they're talking about just the recipes. Yeah, it's just the recipes for the different plants. Am I going to have to plant a bunch of plants? That's going to be annoying. Aw. Oh, there we go. They did regenerate not all of them though maybe I just missed it hmm weird some oh, some are working some aren't all right then Oh, uh, no. What all did I get? Mm. I guess it was mostly other stuff. Anyway, um. Yeah, biological room, whatever that is. And nutrition room. Alright, now. Uh, I shouldn't have put the teleport room there. I'm gonna move it. Put it over here. Oh no, now the mirror is. A poster is messed up. Oh well. Okay, and that's it. We finished that. Now I can get the high gravity freighter trail. Yay! Phase two complete. High gravity freighter trail. I'm gonna. I'm gonna equip it. Cool. We got the high 
gravity drive. I think I'll go outside and look at them closer. go. Ooh, that is cool looking, alright. Let's look it in photo mode. Nice. That is very cool looking. I like that animation. Very cool. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for this episode. We finished and got the reward for phase one and two. Um got the posters and this high gravity trail thing but anyway that's going to do it for today i have been mac thank you for joining me for a day and remember everything's going to be okay